Good evening and welcome to News at 7. Let's begin with the top stories of today. Peace and harmony cannot be ushered in the state without devotion, discipline and humanity, says Chief Minister N. Biren. JC of M took an MGO to start mass movement if government does not spell out its stand on 7th Bay Commission by January 31. As TV staffs along with IMC and Kedo conduct one-day cleanliness program at Quiramun Market and surrounding areas. And don't give disturbance to the self-employed youth, says CAF and PD Minister Karamsham. Let's proceed with the news in detail. Chief Minister N. Biren today asserted that peace and tranquility cannot be ushered without devotion, discipline and humanity. Chief Minister made the statement while inaugurating the Temple of Gwarok Mahadev. The historic shrine of Tarang Saraba, Gwarok Mahadev, has been in existence since time immemorial at Yairipo Kekru in Thobal district. The inaugural function was organized by Kekru Ideal Progressive Committee, Yaripo Kekru. Forest Minister T. H. Sham Kumar, CAF and PD Minister Karam Sham, MLA Indrajit and many social workers attended the inaugural function. Speaking at the inaugural function, Chief Minister said, Without love and respect, peace and harmony will not prevail in the state. Hatred among the people is due to disrespect of God. Therefore, everyone should have belief in God. Efforts have been made by the government to renovate at least 36 olden shrines preserved by our forefathers. The older shrines will serve as a good tourist site too. He further said, the present government has been focusing mainly on the poor sections of the society. Moreover, a scheme in connection with health will be announced on statehood day. Joint Administrative Council of All Manipur Trade Union Council, MTUK, and All Manipur Government Employees Organization, MGO, has warned of mass movement if the government of Manipur does not spell out its stand on implementation of 7th Pay Commission by January 31. Addressing a press meet held at its office at Babupara, General Secretary of the JAC L. Biken said the JAC has been urging to implement 22-point charter of demands including 7th Pay Commission since long. Talks were also held with the Chief Minister several times in the regard. However, nothing has been done so far. L. Biken also maintained that Representatives of the JAC have once again met Chief, Chief Secretary and inquired about the stand of the government. Chief Secretary informed that the demands are being discussed and most of the reports from the departments have been received except for some. Stating that Chief Minister sought a three months time when they met him on October 26 last year, began added that if the government fails to make its stand clear on the demands, including 7th Pay Commission by January 31, mass movement will be initiated from the next day. President of the JAC, Kaide Mani, stated that time and again the government had assured regarding the 22-point charter of demands but failed to take up any concrete action. Kaidemani also blames the government that rights of many workers are being deprived by the government. Assembly 
Mapungana Chana Hangani, Hibashi Lautu Piu, Hibashi Equit Taxin Yaneva. Assembly session, Amasuma to Mango in Nana, as we Mamang do that. The assembly session said that this way than a Lautopi the Viati, Hibashi Equin at Taxin Yadorim. Astrovi Network, in collaboration with Info Municipal Corporation and Kedo, today conducted a one day cleanliness drive around Ima Markets and BT Road in connection with the Foundation Day celebration of ASTV Network on January 27. Minister of Mahut D. H. Shamkuma launched a drive in front of the office of ASTV Network on BT Road. Mayor of IMC L. Lokeshwar, Joint Director of Mahut N. G. Uttam, Executive Engineer Meneka, President of ASTV Network P. Prafulo, General Secretary K. H. Kogan, Advisors, Executive Members and Staffs of the Network and IMC and Members of KEDO attended the cleanliness drive. Statue of Bhagya Chandra and the Elephant was cleaned and posters and pamphlets pasted on the pillars of BT flyover were also removed during the drive. Areas between Ngari Gali and Naga River, Alugali and Thangal Bazaar were also cleaned as part of the drive. Expressing his contentment in the initiative of ASTV Network, Minister T. H. Shyam Kumar appealed to extend further support in the cleanliness work taken up by IMC to keep Imphal City clean. <laughs> They are my Pantopa. See my department, Amadi, I'm sick. You might get the game of the Hangai in a Taka Pondue. They tat to Sumna, Manipur Paza Miyangi, Matamatangi, Mina Kongo and Biba, Amadi Paza Miyangi, Sabata Viva, Machina Manipurda, a sober incredible and housing that a sober town. I'm happy. Aduga Malayangi Paki at the Toyba, Nutigi, Pau Kaya, Amadi, Bahaki, the Baka Toy Pauci, Miku Kudingi, Manipur Paza Miyam, and Dotana. Pakcik pun kita makta foundation dia, asida ISTB ni awam itu nak hendak apa pun production tu, amati siapa pun bah ISTB na 16 magi foundation dia asida pangtu iba one day cleanliness asih si kita sabtu pandam di nunggu iba thamui nunggu perasa meyam dah lu nana lebiu happy kita umba thamui siang lebiu happy kita umba campaign makhluk mana hari tu na agi saya tak kiri message pizza. Secretary of ASTV Network K. H. Kogan said the cleanliness drive was held to spread the message of self-responsibility in keeping infosity clean. President of ASTV Network P. Prafulo said change should first be brought in our mindsets. He also appealed to do away with the habit of littering garbage and waste at improper areas, thinking that department concerned will clean it. Aku itu tanggung lagi. Maru ini na, lengak payah beri bah, lengak konsing. Kata na mohon itu, kata umi. IMC amat di masjid itu lagi riba musing. Jina main kunci kini hebat wakil saya. Masih aku itu tanggung kata umi. Editor in chief of ASTV Network, Brajin Reningomba, stated that the directive of Mahud to keep a dustbin each for all shops in Imphal City seems to be neglected by the shopkeepers and urged the minister and department concerned to look into the matter. ซึ่งสำหรับบัตรฮันดัตตาไอ้คุยกี่มาฮุดมินิสเตอร์ทีไอซ์ชัมคุมานะพงตุกปีกี่บอกว่าพม่ามามาดูดิดูการคุณดี
as part of the one-day cleanliness program conducted by the ISTV network in association with the Info Municipal Corporation and Kedo at Kwaramban Market and surrounding areas. A street play performed by the artist of Nokpadi Cultural Foundation was presented at Leimarimbi Ima Market today. ASTV Network also donated two truckloads of shingles to be laid on the path west of Ngari Mari Market that covered the dirt and stinking areas on the path. Consumer Affairs Minister Karam Sham has said that the state can move forward only when the self-employed people are left uninterrupted. The minister made this statement as he was attending the flag of ceremony of the Imphal to Guwahati Volvo Bus Service of the Lamjingba Management Service Private Limited. The flagging of ceremony was held in front of the office of the Lamjingba Finance at Uripok today. Speaking at the flag of ceremony, the minister further said more than 7 lakh unemployed citizens of the state are registered at employment exchange. There are more unemployed persons who have not even registered themselves at the employment exchange offices. It is impossible to employ all of them. As such, the issue of unemployment can be resolved only when the unemployed persons, especially the youths, take up self-employment works. The government will ensure all possible help to Lamjingba Service Private Limited that is making efforts to give jobs to the unemployed youths. He appeals to the people to inculcate the work culture that the private company has. He also appeals to all concerned not to give any interruption to such companies. <laughs> Thailand, Adogamagi, Lariba, potential things is seen. That na, the Naharul Mayama, that Thabak Pina, that local area, Thabak things is, Koi Sarkar na increase that way. Manipur Prajagi, the Asuki Matik Sarkar ge, that the Prajagi way na South Oxa ni gaani. Manam the Naharul Thabak Pina, that na that na, that the Prajagi Semilon, Adogam Naharul, that the Sinjari ba, that the Lamjing ba management sigi, that Koi service sigi shu, that the Mai Park ba. Governor Dr. Najma Haptullah has extended heartfelt greetings to the people of Manipur on the occasion of Statehood Day 2018. Statehood Day is always remembered by the people of the state with pride and happiness, a joyous occasion to celebrate and walk alongside other states in taking the country forward. It is also a day for introspection as to what has been achieved so far and evolve a strategy to move forward for a secured tomorrow. The state has progressed as a result of collective effort and it has come a long way since the day of statehood. The state has had a glorious history of peaceful coexistence, unity and brotherhood amongst the various groups of people inhabiting this beautiful land and every effort should be made to sustain it. The destiny of the state is in the hands of the people. She called on the people to make joint efforts to make the state peaceful and prosperous for others to follow. Manipur State Medicinal Plants Board, State Ayush Society and CSIR NEIST Branch Laboratory Lamfelpot jointly organized a sensitization workshop on medicinal plants, home herbal garden and distribution of planting materials at the conference hall of CSIR Lamfel. Minister of Health L.J. Takuma, Director of Ayush Dr. A. Guneshwar, Principal Scientist of CSIR Dr. H. Beer Kumar, Member Secretary of State Ayush Society Dr. Y. Lukoi and Project Officer of MoMA K. Devdatta Sharma graced the inaugural function of the workshop. Speaking on the occasion, Minister L. Jayant Kumar urged the farmers to judiciously use the fund provided by the government through various welfare schemes and become a successful farmer. <laughs> New 
Director of Ayush Dr. Egneshwar Sharma said the workshop was organized to sensitize on various medicinal plants grown around us which are very useful in primary health care. As part of the series of program launched by the district administration Imphal East to keep the district neat and clean, DC Imphal East TH Chitra led employees of different departments in cleaning the sides of the road from Porompat Crossing to the DC office complex. Areas surrounding the office complex of PHE, Health, Treasury, Agriculture, Dairy, etc. were cleaned. DC Chitra told the RSTV News that such cleaning program is conducted on every fourth Saturday of the month. This step not only helps keep the offices neat and clean, but also motivates the employees and public to keep their areas clean, she said. SSS Manifa 2018 Asine Award presentation organized by Sahitya Seva Samiti Kakching and Film Forum Manipur will be held on February 10 at the shrine of Kakching Kulen Ibudo Kamlangba. Addressing a press meet held at the office of Film Forum Manipur at Lamphel, director of the SSS Manifa 2018 Y Nila Chandra said awards will be presented in 24 categories in the 7th edition of the award presentation. Neta Irabot Lila Roy Lifetime Achievement Award for Manipuri Cinema will be given to Ngangbam Swarnachit from Yai School Janmastan. Neta Irabot Lila Roy Lifetime Achievement Award for Sumang Lila to Sokrakpam Hemanta from Irom Majorao and Maipak Sanahal Manipuri Chagoy Lifetime Achievement Award to Lifrakpam Ningol Oinam Ongbi Doni from Thangmaiban Hijam Dewan Laikai. Chairman of Film Forum Manipur S. Mangol Jao said, Juries of the Manipuri Cine Award have already selected the nominees of each award after a transparent screenings were done by the forum. Manipur, I koi punna kusam naraga, sehi kudingi lept on a pankhura puduna, perelak suba, it is a nihandaxina. I koi haukiba, Januari gi, ang tarani toy de gina, I koi film screening of Javani, koi film forum da. Kajuri Mangana, Yam Kupna, Yangaga, Akoi Narang Poba, Lepton Satazaraga, Nasi, Akoi Nominis and Mayam Silo to Osi Hidden and Lepton Zebani. The water bird census for migratory birds at Loktak Lake was held today. The census was conducted by India Bird Conservation Network Manipur with the help of the local clubs of the surrounding areas of Loktak Lake at about 50 different places, including Loktak Lake and wetland areas of Tangjen in Kakching District under the sponsorship of Manipur Forest Department Wildlife Wings. The census was also conducted at Ngakrakom, also known as Port No. 20, at Kaibulam Chow National Park. The Deputy Conservator of Forest Park and Sanctuary E. Nirmala Chanu, Principal Honorary Wildlife Warden of Kumbi College K. Jugeshar, and many other officials of Forest Department took part in the census at Spot 20. The water bird census was also conducted at Spot No. 8, Ningtokong Awangpad, led by State Coordinator R. K. Birjit. Speaking in connection with the water bird census, DCF E. Nirmala said she was saddened to find that the quantity of fish caught from the lake is huge. Some fishermen even use LED bulb to catch fish during the night time. She said less availability of fishes in the lake is one of the main causes for reduction in number of migratory birds. Alternative source of income should be arranged for the fishermen so that the quantity of fish caught every season is reduced. It will in turn attract more migratory birds to the lake. <laughs> the alternative livelihood oina makhan makhan mayam nu pi da masung akoi ba lai ba nu pi sing da ida akoi na alternative livelihood ki oina training macha macha bi se lok tak ta lai ba koi ba da lai ba mayam goi se fishing da dependent oi ba se handara ga ato pa sentok lambi ta ta una ba ki da makta akoi na hona jari ai ta 
On the other hand, Honorary Wildlife Warden K. H. Jugeshwar said, according to the initial reports of the census, the numbers of migratory birds have decreased a lot. The lake has been listed as Montrix, implying that the lake is no longer safe for the migratory birds. He appeals to the people to protect the lake in order to make it safer for the precious birds. In view of taking security measures for the ensuing Republic Day celebration in the state, the Imphal East Police conducted search operation in KR Lane Hapta areas around 5.30 this morning. A team of the Reserve Line and the Women Police Personnel, led by DSP, STPO and OC of Porampat Police Commando, conducted the search operation. Altogether, 255 male and 92 female residents of the area were verified one by one during the search operation. At least four persons who could not produce their identification documents were picked up and handed over to Parampat Police Station for further verification, it is reported. Bharatiya Janata Yuva Mocha Manipur Pradesh today organized a blood donation camp at BJP head office at Nithyai Pachuthek in connection with the birth centenary of Swami Vivekananda and Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose. BJP General Secretary Administration K. Sarat Kumar, President of BJYM Manipur Pradesh P. Somorjit and in charge Tej Kumar launched a camp. President of BJYM Manipur Pradesh, P. Somorjit, stated that the mega blood donation camp was being organized throughout the country. Not less than 30,000 people are targeted to donate blood in Manipur too. General Secretary Administration K. Sarat Kumar said, Donating blood is the first step towards nation building and character formation. National character formation da acha uba contribution nama tawa haura bani na ekho ekho ki wakhal nanda ima leba punung siba jati siba nung siba hurup siba nung siba tola tarab siba nung siba ki wakhal nanda do madu mangda thamme hairga koi sanksin ba hai basi na khwaid ki primary oiba wakhal nama oiga da bani hai basi ya thamja nengi the five-day food processing training program jointly organized by Intellicom Knowledge and Skills Center and Ka Ningom Thong Women's Welfare Association has concluded at Ningom Thong today. Zilla Parishad member of Basikong Chirom Jasobanta, Pradhan of Thongju Part 1 T H Lata, Chairman of MIDC P Loken and Director of Skills Center H Dayanidhir were the main guests at the closing function of the training program. Certificates were distributed to 28 trainees of the program as part of the closing function. Organizing in charge of the training program, Asim Somila said, The training program was organized under the guidance of Works Minister T. H. Bishwachit with an objective of enabling women to earn income by processing various fruits and vegetables found in the state. Before we conclude, let's have a quick glance at headlines. Peace and harmony cannot be ushered in the state without devotion, discipline and humanity, says Chief Minister N. Biren. JSC of M took an NGO to start mass movement if government does not spell out its stand on 7th Bay Commission by January 31. As to the stars along with IMC and Kedo conduct a one-day cleanliness program at Quiramban Market and surrounding areas. And don't give disturbance to the self-employed youth, say CAF and PD Minister Karamsha. For this, we end up today's news in English. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night.